Joe Penny was riding his motorcycle in late August when a deer appeared on the road. The collision took the life of Penny, who was a farmer near Decatur, Nebraska. But the community stepped up to assist Penny's family in a big way to help harvest Joe's last soybean crop. Joe's niece, Justine Wood, says it's all about the community wanting to help out. A few farmers said that they were about done with some of their beans before they started moving, and they're like, well, let's see if we can orchestrate it, and we got it all ready in a few days, in a matter of days, and we had um, tons of people there. We had 10 combines, five auger wagons, and around 15 to 20 trucks in and out. So it worked out great, and we got it all done within six hours. In a matter of hours, the crew managed to cut over 600 acres of soybeans. And what would Joe have thought of the local farmers helping out? He would have enjoyed seeing everybody and um, just he would have been overwhelmed with all everybody that showed up that day. It was very we we're very thankful for everybody that came out and assisted because we know that they stopped all of their process on all of their beans and everything to come and help the family and get it done for us so we didn't have to worry about it and it just was very overwhelming. And it wasn't just the farmers who lend a helping hand. Justine says that Central Valley Ag helped feed the crew. Local farmer Quentin Keneally says he was an awesome guy who would have done the exact same thing for us. Reporting in Lincoln, Nebraska, for the Rural Radio Network, I'm Bryce Duskett.